Hey guys, Corey here, and this is another Q&A with Corey. So I'm going to go ahead and answer a question by Valhalla's own, and they ask, Have you found clothing to be more expensive in Seoul compared to major US cities? Um, I have two answers for this, yes and no. And um, I'll kind of explain the yes. Um, first of all, men's clothing. Now, if you are a woman shopping in Seoul, you will be in paradise. Uh, you, you will have so many places to shop, so many different places, and there's always sales, and you'll find lots of cheap clothing there. You know, you'll find like four or five dollars. Um, the same prices as stuff is Ross, and um, it's going to be much better quality stuff. Um, a lot of boutique shopping and stuff, and um, especially for women, um, younger women, especially I would say like Hongdae area, um, Yangdong. Um, places that cater towards the younger generation, like college um, or whatnot, uh, aged women, you're going to find a lot of places to shop and you're going to find a lot of good stuff. Good deals, all kinds of stuff. Women, you are very lucky. Now men, we have it a little worse. And I know firsthand, because I am a man, and um, I've been trying to shop all summer for stuff and it is almost impossible to find things. Um, that are my size and within my budget range. Um, it is very rare to come across something that's on sale for cheap. Um, jeans, on average, from everywhere that I've been to, um, like Uniqlo, um, H&M, Forever 21, and just other like random boutique shops or whatever, um, you're gonna find them between forty dollars upwards of a hundred and twenty dollars you know it, it just depends but um, it, it's really terrible and um, all not just pants but shirts jackets anything men's related is going to be expensive um, there are a few places that sell stuff um, for men compared to women uh, women there are stores everywhere men it's it's select few places and it's usually some kind of a name brand place um, I have checked out a few vintage places, but even the vintage used clothing is so expensive. And so I've actually, uh, this past summer, had a really difficult time finding shorts. I was only able to buy, I think, one or two pairs of shorts, and that took maybe three months to find those pairs of shorts. Um, now, the other thing... Um, about men's clothing is uh, just throwing this out there it doesn't have to do with price really but um, when you're buying pants they all come they, they have the waist size which is fine but the length um, they don't hem the pants you know kind of like uh, in the states like I would buy maybe like a 32 by 30 or 32 by 31 at the most 31 is too long maybe 30 32 by 30 usually but um, here it's I think 32 and then just open. It's really long and so everything you have to get hemmed. Um, luckily, the stores usually have that kind of service in there. Um, if not, then you know you can just go to some kind of a tailor shop and they'll do it for a real cheap price. Um, but usually the places that do sell pants um, have their own tailor in store um, that you just drop off your pants and they'll tell you to come back in like 20 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, uh, so places to go um, that I would say are expensive would be Myeongdong um, for men um, and Itaewon. Now Itaewon that caters towards foreigners. Um, there's a lot of foreigners that live in the Itaewon area and um, it is the place to go if you are usually a foreigner trying to find clothes. And that's just because they sell the bigger sizes. Um, you know, Americans are tall, Americans have big feet, and not just Americans, but foreigners in general, you know, from Europe, from wherever. And um, it's really hard to find your size here, um, especially if you're a man. Um, men have it much more difficult. Um, but Itaewon is really expensive if you don't know where to look. And um, the majority of places in Itaewon know that foreigners are going there because of the size, um, and so they jack the prices up. So Itaewon is not really a cool place to shop for pants and stuff. I went there for jeans one time. I went, to, went into a shop and I found jeans that I liked. They were the style that I wanted. And then I looked at the price and like the lowest one was $60. Um, it's just ridiculous. And then. And then even items that they say are on sale, um, you know, you're looking at like $50 on sale. Original price, like $75. It, it, it's just too crazy. Um, now, the other 
um, answer that I ha <clears throat> have for the for the question: um, Have you found clothing to be more expensive in Seoul compared to major U.S. cities? Uh, the answer is no. Um, the reason I say no is because there are some major shopping areas um, known for cheap clothing, Dongdaemun and Namdaemun being those here in Seoul. Um, now I have difficulty shopping there just because. The size, so they have the good price. The price is awesome, $10 shorts, $10 pants, but they never have my size. That is the problem for me. But um, it is possible you can find cheap clothing in those areas. Um, other alternatives would be like Home Plus um, or E-Mart. Those are basically comparable to like Target and um, the prices, it just depends. They could be middle of the road. You might catch a sale. Um, for example, like uh, this shirt I'm wearing here, it was only um, $8 or $7. So you're paying like Walmart prices, but it's cool, you know? I mean, it's a Keith Haring shirt. I love Keith Haring. And then, um, for example, my, my pants here, got my jeans. Um, I don't know if you can see that. These jeans, I had to get them hemmed, but they're from Home Plus. I saw them originally, um, they were for, I think, $30 or so, but I didn't buy them at the time because that's just, it's too much for me. Um, I don't shop that expensive. And then um, later on, I saw a bunch of them marked down to $8. So I got these jeans for $8 and then they hemmed them for free. You just show your receipt that you bought it at that store and then they just do the free hemming there um, in the tailor shop. So um, what else? Uh, I like hats. I don't know if you've seen a lot of my videos. I have hats and stuff. Hats are, can be pricey if you're trying to go to a store. I've seen hats ranging anywhere from $45 to $150. Um, but then you can get the cheaper knockoff versions on the street for anywhere from $15 to $25. And um, you know those, it's, they're going to be mostly snapbacks and stuff like that. If you want a fitted, like a sports one, um, something like that, it's going to be um, a little bit more pricier and those you're going to probably find in like a name brand store like in a Nike shop or, or a, a hat that a hat store that specifically sells those type of hats. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, what else? Um, socks are really cheap if you know where to look and they sell socks all over the streets just out of someone's truck they sell them and so you can find that easily. So um, it's kind of hard to answer the question because I can say yes and no because yes, it is more expensive, but then not really. It just depends on where you go. It's it's more of a mission basically to find clothes for men, for men at least. Women, you could walk down the street and run into sales everywhere. Um, you guys are lucky. Uh, I'm really jealous. But uh, men, it, it becomes a mission. Um, you know, I bought very little clothes here, um, like pants and stuff, just because the size is impossible to get when the price is good and then when I can find the size the price is just absurd so um, I kind of hope that answers your question about Hala's own um, if you guys have more questions about anything about life here in Korea or about me or about whatever just go ahead and ask in the comments I know that I was asking people to ask questions in the discussion um, tab on my uh, YouTube channel but um, I feel like many people don't want to take that time to click and click and then type. So go ahead and just answer, uh, ask your questions in the comments of any of my videos. And then I'll go ahead and try to select a few and make videos about them, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Please tell your friends about my channel. Um, I'm just trying to get my... Um, my channel out there, let people know that there's um, this crazy American guy who's living in Seoul and he just wants to share, share my experiences, share my life, share Korea with you guys. And so um, hopefully I'm doing that. I don't know. But anyways, uh, catch you guys later. Okay. All right. Bye.